Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Havoc OS 2.9. Yeah, it is older version, but it's great. The ROM here is just great, which is based on Android version 9.05. So let's begin. So as you guys can see here, the Android version here is Android 9.05. The security patch level you get here is the February 5th 2020 which is pretty old one yes and the kernel here is the Kalina Negro kernel so this is great and the Havoc version here as you can see here is 2.9.2 version and the ROM here is pretty amazing because as it is based on the Android 9.05 as you can see this is the settings panel this is the home screen just as usual this is the pixel launcher here and the Pre-built installed is the launcher launcher so this is great let's see the settings here this is the settings in the system these are the options you get and this is the Kenzo sex you get to see the color display color calibration so you can just adjust the color temperature and everything saturation and contrast everything according to you so this option is available here then you get to see the digital well-being here which is as you can see working fine you get to see the digital well-being then uh, in the security and location as you know i don't have the fingerprint option but the fingerprint here is just working absolutely fine and the screen lock here is also working there is no as such major bug here bugs here so the you don't have the issue of the security and everything screen lock here is working absolutely fine okay then talking about going to forward to the sound and vibration stuff these are all the sounds options available here just the same and you get to see the me sound enhancer available here you can just turn it on from here and use it so these are the options available here then going to the display options these are the display options you get to see the adaptive brightness the live display here is option available then in the wallpapers these are the wallpapers and you also get to see the google wallpapers also so that is great as the Wi-Fi here currently is off. You get to see the Google wallpapers. Then you can see the expanded desktop option available. You get to see double tap to wake the font size and everything. And when devices in VR. So that's these are the options, display options available here. Then talking about the battery life here. The battery life here is just amazing. I would say you will easily get around 5 to 6 hours of screen on time. So I charged it around 90% yesterday and this and the screen on time i got around here is as you can see 2 hours and 57 minutes the full charge was 30 hours ago so this is great the battery life here is just amazing okay then these were the options these were the settings now moving forward to the havoc settings these are the havoc os customizations available here moving towards the status bar customizations you get to see the double tap to sleep and everything just the normal status bar customizations available here if you want to see all these customizations available then you will be able to see the card available here for the previous video of the havoc os i have made so these are all just the same customizations available here then you get to see the quick settings customization these is the interface customization then the you get to see the pixel ui and the aosp so these two are the options available here then uh, you get to see the background color option here the here is the dark theme you if you want to switch towards the dark theme then from here you can switch you get to see shady and glassy options available here then these are the accent colors the font manager these are all the font styles available here you can just change it from here okay then you get to see the icon shape and everything you default colors you get to see the header style and so these are the options available here in the you get to see the ambient display and here you get to see the always on display also available here which is working absolutely fine then in this screen you get to see the screen stabilization then buttons and everything you, the navigation bars these are the gestures available here so all the options are just available here the animation systems or battery saving and input method all the customizations here are just available here so many customizations are available so if you want a fully customizable room then this room is for you and as this is based on android 9 pi this is working fluidly as such no no problems here this really for daily usage so guys if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and that will be the name of the telegram group available here you can join the telegram group if you still haven't joined it or the link will be in the description below okay then this is the home screen talking about the quick settings here these are the quick settings you get Wi-Fi here is working absolutely fine mobile data voltage here is also working fine so no worries 
and the flashlight auto rotate and everything here is working you get to see the night light and everything and in the edit option these are the options you get to see the accidental touch so it is helpful while playing games and everything you get to see the gaming mode available here the havoc settings and everything and the nearby share option here is also available so these are the options for this status bar for the quick settings available here then talking about you in the recorder you get to see the recorder the screen recorder and the audio recorder both here are just available so that is great okay then talking about the camera here you get to see the snapdragon camera this is the updated snapdragon camera as you can see these are the options available here in the and the video and the photo mode everything is uh, just working fine then talking about the google camera i have installed the google camera version 4.1 which was available on the play store so i just directly downloaded it from the play store and is working absolutely fine and the photo and video is better from is better as compared to that snapdragon camera so i prefer to use this as i said in my previous videos also then talking about the geekbench scores here are the geekbench scores and the scores are very impressive here uh, i'll just show you as you can see these are the scores 280 and 779 so the scores are uh, amazing and talking about the overall performance also the performance on this phone is just amazing on this rom the havoc 2.9.2 rom here is just amazing performance you will have no worries with the gaming performance also the gaming is just amazing i tried the call of duty and the the performance the gameplay was just amazing so guys then talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed without rooting the phone as you can see here okay so as you can see this safety net status has passed without even rooting the phone so that's great then talking about the internet speed here i'll show you the internet speed test there is no such problem here the internet here is just working fine i'll just do it in front of you the speed test I have a 50 Mbps connection so currently it's a little bit low as you can see the speed 42, 43 it will go. So as you can see here the download speed you get got here is the 44.8 and the upload speed here is 29.8 so the internet speed here is just not a problem I'll show you my previous results I got up to 47.8 Mbps download speed so the internet speed here is just not an issue then talking about the call quality here the, there is no such issue in the calls here the calls are also just working and messaging and everything here is just working absolutely fine all the Google apps here are just working and you get to see the google feed option available here so that's great then that is it these were the features and options available here then you get to see the advanced controls here this there is an app available for the advanced control this is the option available here you can just define the vibrators vibration strength and everything so these are the, these were the options the advanced control option available here so that is it okay so guys now let's talk about the bugs here so as such I haven't faced any major bug but uh, there is a problem here the hardware button lights are just not working so this is the problem I have faced uh, no other problems I have faced this was the only bug here I have faced then there is an another bug I show you that when you press the overview button okay the first time the second time okay now this is this this is this problem is solved after the reboot because first it was happening whenever i press the overview button the app just directly opened the previous app i had opened just directly open i would not have the recent apps panel the app just directly got opened so guys i must say that if you want to use this rom as a daily driver then you may you can use it i will prep i will prefer to and i recommend you to use this rom because this rom here is just amazing rom there are no such bugs and everything this is the rom is just pretty much very smooth and and this rom is the most stable rom i would say after the ax rom 6.7 like the pi roms here are just amazing for the daily usage so if you don't want any uh, interruptions or any like you don't want to face any bugs uh, and want a stable rom then you may try this you must try this rom so that is it okay so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye